Good morning, kids. It is Thursday, April 1st, and today we're going to be going over some math. We are going to continue our work on decimals today. On page 57, I am in section four, which is pink. And once again, we're on page 57. But before we start that, let's take a look at these two decimals here, okay? Um, if I ask you which one of these decimals is greater, do we know? All right, the key to this is please make sure you start on the left side here of each decimal because these are worth more. These numbers are worth more. They are in a higher place value, okay? So here I have the ones next after the decimal point, I have the tenths and I have the hundredths right here. And then I have the thousandths, okay? And 10 thousandths, all right, 100 thousandths, but don't worry about these over here, okay? Uh, we have only studied up to the thousandths column. But let's, once again, let's take a look at our ones over here. So we have a couple of zeros in the ones column, okay? Now those are equal, so not much I can do there. Then we wanna take a look at our tenths column, okay? Uh, this first number here has two tenths, while this number has five tenths, okay? At this point, I should be able to determine which of these is greater and which one is smaller, okay? Um, once again, we always start on the left because these numbers are worth more, okay? So uh, here I have two tenths and five tenths. So which of these numbers is greater? 0 0.56 is greater than 0 0.299999. Why? Because this number only has two tenths and 0 0.56 has five tenths, okay? So the rest of these nines don't even matter, all right? Make sure you start on the left, kids. All right, and with that, I'm going to get into this lesson here. All right, so let's take a look here. Problem number one, this is probably pretty easy. Uh, I hope it says, which is greater, 0 0.45 or 0 0.48? Okay, once again, you wanna take a look, starting on the left here. Sorry, that's not the neatest circle, but all right, once again, we have a couple of zeros. So we don't know at this point, which one's greater. Next, we have the tenths column. Now we have fours, okay? Those are still equal. So then we move on to the hundredths column. All right, uh, the hundredths column, I have five hundredths over here, as we can see. And this one, we have eight hundredths. So which one is greater? Okay, 0 0.48 is greater than 0 0.45. And that's what we should put here. 0 0.48 is greater than 0 0.45. All right, let's continue problem two. All right, and also let's make sure that we are paying attention to what they're asking us. This one says, which is smaller? All right, so we have 3.6 or 3.57. Now, once again here, this is a little bit different. Um, because we have more numbers in 3.57. However, 3.6 is still a greater number. Why? Because it's got more tenths. So let's once again, let's check that out here. In this first number here, we, in the ones column, we have three and three. So that is equal. Then let's take a look at 3.6 and 3.5. Uh, five here, I'm sorry, 6.6 6 and 0. 0.5. So we have six tenths in this first number and only five tenths over here. So which one is greater, which one is smaller? Um, I can tell which one is bigger now, okay? Six is bigger than five. So we wanna know which one is smaller. 3.57 is smaller than 
3.6. All right, so basically these hundredths over here, these seven hundredths, they don't even matter. All right, let's continue. Page 58. And I know we did some of this in class already. However, I just want to review and make sure that we understand this. All right, so here they want you to put these numbers into all their different place values here. Okay, so let's check out first we have 41.2, we have a four in the tens column, we have a one in the ones column, then we have our decimal points. Please make sure anytime you are trying to add or subtract or just compare decimals, line up the decimal points, okay? This will make sure that everything is in the correct place value, all right? And then finally, we have two tenths here. Let's look at 41.17. Once again, I have four tens, one one, one ten, and seven hundredths, okay? So, um, blank is smaller than blank. Well, 41.17 is smaller than 41.2. Why? Well, let's just look at the tenths column here. All right, the tens place, these are equal. The ones place, these are also equal. And as I said, it's very important we line up our decimal places, our decimal points. Let's look at the tenths place. All right, well, we have more tenths in 41.2, so therefore it is greater. So 41.17 is smaller than 41.2. Problem four. All right, now I have 6.078 and 6.708. All right, so once again, we want to line up our decimal points. I have six ones in this first number and then zero tenths, seven hundredths, and eight thousandths. All right, next I have six ones again, seven tenths, zero hundredths, and eight thousandths again. So which one is smaller? Well, once again, our ones are equal. We start over here on the left side. Then we have my decimal points here. All right, so ones are equal. Let's look at the tenths. This should determine which one is smaller and which one is greater, okay? Seven tenths is greater than zero tenths. Therefore, I can tell which one is smaller, all right? 6.078 is smaller than 6.708 because we have less tenths in this first number. All right, let's continue. Number five. All right, now I have three ones. My decimal points are lined up nicely. So. All right, once again, I have three ones, two tenths, four hundredths, and one thousand. And then I have once again, second number, 3.19, I have three ones, one-tenth, and nine hundredths. So now we're asking which is greater, okay? So once again, we start on the left-hand side, three ones, those are both equal. Then I have two-tenths and one-tenth, all right? Now I can tell which one is greater. Two-tenths is greater than one-tenth, and therefore, my first number should be greater. 3.241 is greater than 3.19. All right, let's keep going. 
All right, now it's important that we are able to look at these things on number lines as well. It says, look at the number line, fill in the boxes and blanks, which is greater, 2.87 or 2.864, okay? So um, I have two numbers, which ones go where, all right? Um, I can tell uh, this number, they both have 2.8 in them, okay? So the twos are equal. The eights are equal, my, I have eight tenths. And then I have in my hundredths place here, I have a seven. And in this one, I have a six. So this 2.864 is smaller than 2.87. So let's put this one here, 2.864. And uh, this should be 2.87. And let's make sure we work this out on the number line. Here I have 2.86. This next number should be 2.861, 2.862, 2.863. Hey, this works out. This is 2.864. 2.865, 2.866, 2.867, 2.868, and then I would get to 2.87, okay? We could put a zero here if we wanted to. However, we have zero thousandths, so it's not necessary. All right, um, 2.87 is greater than 2.8. Six, four. All right, let's continue. I am now on page 59, I believe. All right, so circle the smallest decimal. All right, let's take a look here. Um, I have, I'm just gonna look at my ones column. And hey, look, let's look at this number. Okay, they're trying to confuse you here. Your ones column is this five right here. So this number is 15.2. Um, this is your largest number. This is the biggest number here, okay? Um, so that's not gonna work because my decimal point is here, all right? This one is in the tens place, so that's no good. All right, now let's look at the ones place for each of these numbers here, okay? I have two ones here, two ones here, and only one one here. So which is the smallest decimal? Well, one is less than two, okay? So yes, this is our smallest decimal. Number eight, circle the greatest decimal. Once again, we wanna start on the leftmost number. Here I have six ones, six ones, six ones, and six ones again. All right, well, those are all equal, so I do not know. Let's look at the tenths place, four tenths, four tenths, nine tenths, and nine tenths. Okay, so which is the greatest? I'm not sure yet. However, nine tenths is greater than four tenths, so these two are not gonna work for me. All right, now I have, let's move on to the hundredths place. I have zero hundredths. Now I have four hundredths over here. So four hundredths is greater than zero hundredths. So this number, 6.94, is our greatest number. Number nine, arrange the decimals in increasing order. Increasing means we start small and get bigger, okay? So let's start with our lowest number. I have 3.051. Once again, I'm starting on the left in the ones place. So I have three ones, three ones, three ones. That doesn't tell me anything. Let's move on to the tenths place, zero tenths. Five tenths, one tenth. All right, this tells me everything I need to know. Zero is just about as small as we can get. So 3.051 is our lowest number. Next, the one with one tenth, 3.151 is the number in the middle. And finally, our greatest number is 3.5. Five, five, one. 
All right, so that is an increasing order. We start with the smallest and with the greatest number. Let's keep going, part B and C. All right, next here, uh, part B. Once again, we're starting on the left and notice these numbers, we have a tens place, okay? So I have 18.23, 18.32, and 13.82. All right, so uh, I have 110 in each of these numbers. Let's move on to the ones place. I have eight ones, eight ones, and three ones, okay? This will tell me that 13.82 is the smallest number here. However, let's keep going for these other two numbers. Uh, next, I have two tenths and three tenths. I'm not even dealing with this number anymore. Doesn't matter that it has eight tenths because we know 13.82 is the smallest. So 18.23 is smaller than 18.32 because here I have three tenths and in my other number, I only have two. So in increasing order from smallest to greatest, we have 13.82 comma, then 18.23 comma, and our greatest number is 18.32. All right, let's keep going. Letter C, 11.27. 7.25, 11.7, .7, and 7.512. Oh, this is getting tricky. All right, so once again, let's start on the left. Here I have 110. This number does not even have a number in the tens place, so that is smaller. This, once again, I have 110, and then this number also does not have a tens place. So at this point, um, I know that these numbers, 7.25 and 7.512, are my two smallest numbers. So let's check out uh, which, ones, which one is smaller. Here I have seven ones and seven ones. And next, after the decimal point, I have two tenths and five tenths. Okay, so at this point, I can determine that 7.25 is the smallest number here. All right, so 7.25 comma, and I also know that 7.512 is my next smallest number because that also does not have a number in the tens place. All right, so let's look at 11.27 and 11.7, which is smaller. All right, we have 110 in each number. We also have 11. And let's move on to the tenths place, which is right after my decimal point. Here I have two tenths, and in this number I have seven tenths. So 11.7 .7 is greater than 11.27. So 11.27 comes next. And finally, 11.7 .7 is the greatest. All right, next, number 10 here. Now it says, arrange the decimals in decreasing order, okay? So decreasing means we are starting with the biggest number and ending with the smallest number. So let's see which one's greater. Six tens, six tens, six tens, all right? Next I have three ones, three ones, and three ones. All right, let's move on to the tenths place. I have five tenths, zero tenths, that's smaller, and five tenths again, all right? And so now I know that 63.05 is the smallest number. So let's take a look at 63.5 and 63.52. Which one is greater? Well, this one has an extra two hundredths, where this number, has nothing in the hundredths place, okay? So we could put a zero there if we wanted to because it's got zero hundredths. 63.50 and 63.5 are worth the same, okay? Because we have zero hundredths. 
So this number with my extra two hundredths is the greatest number. So once again, we're doing this in decreasing order, starting big, ending with small. So 63.52 is the greatest number, then 63.5. And finally, 63.05 is the smallest number. All right, next, I have 5.87. We have five ones here. Next, I have five ones here and five ones here. Hmm. All right, so next, let's move on to the tenths place. This is eight tenths, seven tenths, and seven tenths. So I know that 5.87 is my greatest number. That should come first. Let's move on to this one here. Zero hundredths, here I have eight hundredths. Okay, so this is my second number and then 5.708 is the smallest. All right, so 5.87 is the greatest number followed by 5.78 and then 5.708 is the smallest because we have zero hundredths. Part C, 2.6712, 2.6712. 617 and 2.716. Oh man, this is getting confusing. All right, let's look over here. We have two ones, two ones, two ones, and two ones. All right, so that tells me nothing. Everything's equal. Then we got some decimal points. And guess what? I'm going to put a decimal point on this number. And then I'm going to put one, two, three zeros because 2.000 is worth the same as two, okay? All right, um, so here we have uh, 2.671 has six tenths, this number has zero tenths, this number has six tenths, and this number has seven tenths, okay? So 2.716 is my greatest number, followed by, uh, next, we have the hundredths place. This has seven hundredths, zero hundredths, and one hundredth. All right, so this with seven hundredths is my uh, second number. I'm confusing myself here. This is number one, number two. All right, and then finally, um, this has seven hundred, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, seven thousandths, and this has zero thousandths. So, my lowest number, 2.000, is my smallest number here. So my greatest number is 2.716, followed by 2.671, then 2.617, and finally, our good friend 2 goes last because it is the smallest number. All right. Number 11, A, B, and C. All right, what is one-tenth more than 2.903? All right, so I'm just looking at my numbers in the tenths place. All right, now here we want to know what is one-tenth more than 2.9. So if we uh, add one-tenth to nine-tenths, we're going to get ten-tenths. Okay, but that should go in my next column here. So if we add this, make sure if you're adding or subtracting, we want to line up the decimal points, okay? So don't worry about the 0 0.3. That's, um, I'm sorry, the, the uh, hundredths and the thousandths. Don't worry about those numbers. They will stay the same. All right, so here, I'm lining this up in my, uh, we wanna start with the thousandths place, okay? And let's pretend also that I have some zeros here, okay? Because that's exactly what this is. We're just adding zeros. We have three plus zero is three. Zero plus zero is zero. Nine plus one is 10. Don't forget your decimal point and add this one over here. 1 plus 2 plus 0 is 3. So we should have 
three. What is 0 0.01 more than 2.903? All right, once again, please make sure you line up your decimal points. All right, so the only thing that should change here is the number in the hundredths position. So this should be 2.913. Next, we have what is 0 0.001 more than 2.903? All right, so my only thing here that's changing is the number in the thousandths place. So I'm just changing that three to a four, 2.904. All right, let's continue. Page 60. All right, number 12 here we have what is one less? Make sure we're paying attention to less. This means we're subtracting one less than, I'm sorry, one tenth less or 0 0.1 less than 6.107. The only thing that's going to change is your number in the tenths place. So we should have 6.007. Next, I'm changing my number in the hundredths place. I have 0 0.01, all right? And how do we subtract one from zero here? All right, let's line this up. 0 0.01, okay? So this is just like regular subtraction. You're gonna have to borrow from your tenths place here, all right? So 6.107. I'm going to end up with being, this changes to a nine, I have 10 over here, 10 minus one is nine. So I should have uh, six point, oh, whoops, I'm sorry. This is not nine, this is zero. That's why that doesn't make sense. Six point zero, nine, this is gonna be a nine, seven. Okay, all right, next I have a thousandth here. All right, I'm trying to subtract one thousandth. The only thing that's gonna change here is this seven to a six. This should be 6.106. Zero, six. Let's continue. Number 13. Fill in the blanks. We have blank is 0 0.1 more than 0 0.324. Let's just look at the number in the tenths place. We want to know what is one tenth more. So it should be 0 0.4. Four. All right, now we are changing the number in the hundredths place. We have 7.08. What is 0 0.01 more than that? It should be 7.09. That is the only number changing is the one in the hundredths place. All right, now I'm subtracting. We have less here. What is 0 0.01 less than 12.57? Please make sure you pay attention to where this wonderful decimal point is. All right, so my thousands, I'm sorry, my hundredths place is this seven here. So this should be 12.56 because we are subtracting. Next, I'm moving on to my thousandths place. So that is right here. All we need to do is subtract from that two. So it should be 3.851. All right, let's keep going, 14.
what is one tenth more than 9.65? All right, so I'm going to look at this six here. And that is the only thing that's going to change. I should get 9.75. Next, I have what is one hundredth more or 0 0.01 more than 6.741. I'm underlining this four because it's in the hundredths place. This should be, whoopsie, 6.751. Right, next one, letter C. Now I'm subtracting. We want to know what is less. So I have, uh, I'm looking at my number in the tenths place, which is a five, should be 34.48. All right, now I have 0 0.001. We're subtracting 1,000th from this number. All right, now this might require a bit of work here. We have 7.23, which is equal to 7.230. We have zero thousandths in this number. So let's subtract one thousandth. All right, now I am able to do this here. Once again, we want to borrow from this column this three changes to a two and now i have 10 here so this will become 10 minus one is nine all right now i put my two down put this two down all right so we should end up with seven point two two nine all right Next, complete the number patterns. All right, we have 0 0.4, 0 0.8, 1.2, 1.6, 2.0. These numbers should look familiar to you, okay? Um, this is kind of like the four multiplication table, all right? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, except this time we are not adding 4, we are adding 4 tenths, okay? That's why we have this wonderful decimal point right here. So if I know my four multiplication tables, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 6 times 4 is 24. However, we are adding 4 tenths, not 4, so I have to put this decimal point right here. This should be 2.4. Next, my numbers are getting smaller. So I have 1.9, 1 1.6, 1 1.3, 1 1.0, 0 0.7. It seems to me that we are subtracting three tenths each time. So we should end up with seven minus three is four. All right, let's look at letter C. I have 32.18. 32.22, 32.26. All right, it appears my numbers are getting bigger. And it looks to me, I'm just looking at these two numbers here. I'm looking at my tenths place and my hundredths place. Uh, I have 0.18 and 0.22. Seems like we're adding uh, four hundredths each time or 0 0.04. So, uh, that works here, 22 plus four is 26, 26 plus four is 30, okay? That's how I'm thinking about this, even though these are after the decimal point. So let's add another four hundredths. I should get 32.38, okay? Once again, I'm just changing this four. I'm adding four hundredths to it, okay? Next, I have 9.41, 9.39, 9 9.37. All right, my numbers are getting smaller, yes? So um, it looks to me like we are just subtracting two hundredths here, okay? 
I'm just looking once again at the tenths place and the hundredths place. You can just, and this nine doesn't even matter because nine is going to be in every single number. We are just subtracting two hundredths here. So 0.37 minus two hundredths is 0.35. All right, let's look at letter E. 2.352, 2.355. All right, it looks to me like our numbers are getting bigger and bigger here. And let's just look at the last decimal places. So we have 2.3 in every number. So I'm gonna just put that down. I have two ones and three tenths in each of these numbers. And I'm just looking at my tenths place, I'm sorry, my hundredths place and my thousandths place. Here it looks like we are just adding three thousandths. So um, 55 plus three is five, eight. Our missing number is 2.358. And does that work out? 2.358 plus three thousandths or 0 0.003 should be 2.361. All right, so this last one here, we are going to have to work backwards because we're missing this first number. So we can't start on the left side. Let's start with this number. I have zero point, I'm sorry, 4.001 and then 4.006, 4.011, 4.001. Zero, one, six. All right, so I know this number is going to be 4.0 something, all right? And let's look, if we work this way and work backwards, it looks like I'm adding five thousandths every time. I'm adding 0 0.005 every time. Yes, one plus five is six, plus five is 11, plus five is 16, plus five is 21, plus five is 26. So my missing number is 4.026. All right, and I believe we are all finished with this page. All right, that's all for now, kids. Um, we will do more of these decimals in class. Stay safe. Wash your hands. I'll see you in class at 10.30 and 1 p.m. sharp. Please don't be late. Bye-bye.